So we wanted to uh, celebrate with you all today the acquisition of our Altheus range, which only took place two months ago. Uh, we looked actually long and hard to find really the best quality products on the market and also those that were as compatible with all our lenses and all our injector systems. But more importantly, we also bought some strong R&D assets. So we're very excited, especially for the products that we will be launching in the future. And we're going to be doing that R&D and that technical development in conjunction with Professor Arshinov, who we brought along um, today to uh, say a few words and to, uh, to cut the cake in celebration. So Professor Arshinov. So Rainer is a long company with a long history in IOLs, but you know, they're not an American company. American companies are known to make rash decisions. Well, it's taken Rainer only 70 years to decide to broaden their portfolio from just lenses to now go into OVDs. The other extremely important thing to allow us to do better cataracts. And I'm really pleased to see that Rainer has taken this step and they've uh, started to work with Antice, with Switzerland, to, to use OVDs and to, to work to make new ones. And I'm really happy that I'm able to work with them and help them to do research to develop really innovative devices which will help us all do better surgery. So I'm very happy to be here, happy to help you celebrate. I congratulate Thank you, you on your not too impetuous decision. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. Shall we cut the cake and then everyone can have a piece of cake to go with their bubbly? Well, anyway, right. anyway, symbolic cut, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's interesting that, you know, Rainer was the company made the first intraocular lens in the world. It's been almost 70 years, and finally they're going to get involved in broader aspects of you know, cataract surgery. And they're making OBDs, which of course I think are the next critical thing to have in ophthalmology. So they've uh, liaised with Optisan, a, a Swiss company that makes a whole range of OBDs. And I think they're going to be doing research to try to look for innovative ones. Of course, there are multiple companies always looking to do innovative things, but there haven't been many innovative ones coming out in the last four or five years. Uh, some people get interested and they lose interest. And I think it'd be nice to see them and a few other companies starting to show interest as we do new things and we do more fake IOLs, look at Femto Faco. The uh, procedures we're doing are changing a bit. And I think the OVGs haven't kept up. And I think we now have some renewed hope that there are some companies that will be doing research and invest some money to help us get better OVGs for our procedures in the future.